what is up beautiful people today's video is a very very detailed boho bob braid tutorial basically from start to finish using just kanekalon extension i'll be showing you prepping the extension curling the extension and everything that you need to know about this boho braid now for extension i'll be doing a blend of 350 and color one both colors are from the brand expression and i'll only be using just this one bundle from both of the um packs of the two colors that i'm using so that's one bundle from the 350 and then one bundle from the color black and each bundles i'll be cutting them into five that is to get the length that i'm going for as you could see earlier i have a shoulder length type um length and yeah i'll be cutting all extensions into five different sections and after cutting it i'm going to just pair them using the same ratio so that's one to one ratio of the color 350 and the color one just so that i can get the exact shade that i am looking for the blend is already up on my channel so you can just go check it out so you can see the whole process but this was what i ended up with and you can see that we have like an ombre situation going on in here and yes since I used just one bundle from each of the colors, that means I only used one pack of the extension. Now, let's get into very, very important part of this video. Now, since I'm using just one pack, you are going to divide the blend into two. I mean, all the blends that you have already blended. You're going to divide it into two, so you get two halves. Now, I just prepped one half of that blend and i'm going to curl the second half now for that second half that i want to curl i divided that into two as well and that is what we are putting inside hot water in here here i'm trying to like create the curls that you saw earlier and this is the process of creating those curls now to create the curls all i did was just dip the section of air that i have with me in hot water and i just comb it out just so that i can get it to look silky i also use leave-in conditioner as you can see me do here just so that it doesn't tangle while i am detangling it now you're just going to keep dipping that in hot water until every part of the extension is actually silky and straight another thing that i need you to know is that the size of the curls that you want would depend one on the size of the flexi rod that you are using as well as the size of the extension that you are curling up now you remember that i said that i divided the sectioned out extension that i left for curls i divided that into two and that is what i have with me right now now to get the size of the curls that i used i also divided this section that i have with me into two again before i then curled it you are going to see that later now the curling equipment that i'm using is a flexi rod you know those um stuff for curling extension that is very very flexible with this one that's what i'm using and this is the size that i'm using just watch carefully so you see exactly how i curl the extension this is really really important and you want to also make sure that you are curling it really tightly against the flexi rod because if it is loose you will not get the curl pattern that you need to get
you want to ensure that there's space in between as you are rolling this extension around the flexi rod because if there's no space at all that means that you're going to come out with a really really short curl when you unravel this after it dries so be very very careful with that now after curling everything you, you would end up with four different rods and then you want to dip that in hot water and let it dry completely before you unravel it I only have two because I only did just that one section I saved the other section because I wasn't sure if the section that I put out for braiding the hair would be enough but I realized later that it was enough the braiding section was enough but I needed more curls so I just ended up curling the second section that I already sectioned out for the curls this is what the curls look like after i had finished curling it and it had already dried completely and you can see that it looks really really good now i just went ahead to like snip off the end of the curl because that was tightly curled and i didn't want it to tangle if you leave this end it might be quite difficult for you to unravel it so just cut it off you don't have to cut eye up and this is what it looks like i just went ahead to like divide that into two after i had already fluffed it out this blend is such a beautiful beautiful color and i love how it looks so let's just get into making the hair we are done with prepping the extension and the curls and everything my hair was already pre-parted by myself the video is up on my channel already this made work so easy because i don't have to like part the hair first and then get into other stuff this is the size of breeding extension that i prepped on that table and this is the size of the curly extension now i just went ahead to like moisturize my hair using leave-in conditioner and then we are going to get into breeding watch carefully Usually when I'm doing boho hairstyle, I do not like to add curly pieces to the back of my head, like the nape area. I just feel like it might just tangle up a lot. But I did for this one and honestly, I totally forgot and I just decided to just go along with it. Now you're just going to see how many pieces I add. It was not calculated at all. I was just adding the pieces is as much as i feel like i need because i really really wanted the braids to be very very full i mean the curly pieces to be very very full and i also wanted like my braids to be very very small which is why i was only adding like braiding extensions parsley you will notice when we move further i only needed it for length because i needed the braiding pieces to be the one that I will use to like tie the extension at the end and that was why I was adding it left me alone I would have just used my hair and just added the curly pieces to it so that it would even look like the curly pieces would even look much fuller do you get what I'm saying For the nape area, I only added two different curly pieces and I ensured that the curly pieces were long enough to cover the full length of the braids. Now another thing that I did was that when I braided till the end, basically the almost very end, I just added the curly piece to the end of the hair as you would see me do here and for that one i just braid all the way down to the 
end of the braids i literally end all my braids where my hair actually ends and then i just tie it down with the braiding extension and then i cut off the excess braiding extension you are going to see that really really soon and to tie it down i tied it down around three to four times for each of the braids i honestly don't remember the exact number of times but i know i tied majority of the braids about three times before i went ahead to like cut off the braiding extension to tie the end of your braids you need just very little strand of braiding extension if it is too thick it will unravel after a while however if it is really really small then it won't unravel quickly now to make sure that all my curly pieces are well gathered and it is not stressing me to remove all i did was just that i added braiding jam to the top of the curly piece so that it would just be in one section and it makes it so easy for me to like remove as you can see here you guys this is what the back section looks like it is so full it is so colorful it is so beautiful and it is so curly and i was so 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 in love i was so ready to do the front section because baby i was already feeling this hairstyle even though i was even done let me give you a little hack to get really really full bohemian braids now when you are adding the curly pieces into your braids you need to ensure that you are alternating where you are pulling the curly pieces from if you look closely and you keep watching you would see that when i add the curly piece to the right side the left curly piece I'm going to add in, I'm going to add it to the left side. As you can see here, this curly piece, I am removing it from the right side. Yeah, right side. I'm just going to say right side. From that side. Now, the next one that I am going to put in, I am going to remove it from the other side. Basically, the opposite side. So that way, all the curly pieces are not just on one side of the braids they would be curly pieces on the right and then they will be curly pieces on the left as you can see here and then that just gives like a really really full voluminous beautiful look and it just looks very very natural like the curls are actually growing right out of your scalp
when you finish braiding down and you've already cut off the braiding extension it is very very important that you arrange and organize all the curly pieces that you put in that air so that it actually stays as it should and doesn't affect the next braid that you want to wear and also it doesn't tangle up when you want to like bring everything down later when you pull everything down as you go as like you braid each section it just makes work really really less stressful for you and you can already see the beauty of the hair even while you're still braiding it Let's talk about the one million dollar question on your mind right now. Will this not tangle? Well, I am going to be answering that question. No, it will not. However, I might just do a hair update after a while that I've had this in to know exactly how the hair and the curls actually hold up. So if you are interested in this style, um, just go ahead to like subscribe and then turn on the bell icon beside that subscribe button that is the notification bell so you'll be informed when the video actually goes up so you would see exactly how the style actually holds up When I get to areas where my hair is really really thick for that section, I don't add braiding extension till the hair becomes thin. As you can see here, I started braiding and immediately I started adding the curly pieces and I've still not added braiding extension. That is because as I said earlier, I really really want the braids to be very very small because if the braids are small, then it will be easy for you to just like misplace the braids in between like the curly pieces and as you can see here, i already added the braiding extension but even though i have added the braiding extension i'm not going to be adding a lot of braiding extension now this is going to be very very important for you when you are making your own hair so that you don't add so much braiding extension and end up with thick braids and just little um what's it called curly pieces
goodness there's just so much joy when it comes to like the last braid this is the last braid so i'm just going to slow it down a bit so that you can see it again and see exactly what i am doing now this actually took me two days just braiding the hair obviously not plus the prepping and everything because i had to like make sure the curly pieces dried completely so i already prepped those ones days prior because i do not like to stress myself i knew that braiding the hair would be quite stressful so i just made sure that i sectioned out a particular time just to make the hair and i did all the prepping days before now it took me two days because i think i started braiding the first day really really late and then i got tired so i just stopped braiding well actually this would just take you one day if you're already good at making your hair and also this should even take less because the ex the patterns are already previously done so like you just remove pattern from it this is why i'm saying that it should have actually taken me just a day to finish all of this honestly because there wasn't much to do just braiding the hair and adding curly pieces and also like it's a short hairstyle so like i should have finished in one day if i didn't start really really late the previous day and as you can see by the clock behind me it was just past 12 at this time was it past 12 or past 1 I'm not certain either past 12 or past 1 so you can see that I literally finished actually really really quickly so you can do this in a day as long as you've already done the pattern previously you've done all the prepping previously so you don't have to like stress yourself in just one day if you get what I'm saying you guys i am so in love the color of this hair has to be like the most beautiful part of this hairstyle you can see how full it is so now it is time to like cut it and let me just tell you now you guys please 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 you are going to have to find somebody to do that for you but before i went ahead to cut it i just went ahead to like all oh, my scalp very 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 important so as i was saying earlier you need to look for somebody to cut it for you if you can't do it yourself because imagine taking your time to make this beauty and then ruining it i could only cut the front the back was really really difficult for me to cut so i had to get help there is nothing wrong with getting help if you need help seek help very very important and i'm not just even talking about hair right now i'm talking about every area of your life if you need help do not be ashamed to ask for help now this is what this looks like i didn't use any moss in it at all i just left it like this and i am in love with what it looks like if you also love it and you learned something from this video let me know in the comment section and also show your love and support by clicking on that like button it will really really help me out on this channel i really want to get to 10k by the end of this year please also subscribe as well and join this amazing family i post a lot of color blend videos hair tutorials hair care videos and other stuff like that that is it for this video and i will see you hopefully in the next one bye